what we're doing today is we're going to install this Kurt 31302 front receiver hitch on the 2003 Suburban. So this is where the bracket goes. I can show you on the other side. There's two holes in the frame, right there and right here, that it mounts to. And so, um, what you need to do, I think it's gonna, oh, my, my bumper, I think my bumper's bent up. But, uh, what you need to do, I think what's gonna make this easier is to go ahead and take this uh, air dam off. Um, there's two ways you can mount this thing. The brackets go the same way, but you can turn the hitch up like this, which is how I'm going to mount it, or you can flip it where this is below, and it would be below the air dam. So your hitch would be about right here, where you flip it up, and it's going to be in. That was just sitting up there. It's going to be in the air dam. And I think I like that better. We'll have to cut a hole for it. Um, so I think our best bet on making this easy to mount is going to be to just go ahead and remove the uh, air dam. And we can get that hitch all mounted in there. We can measure where our hole is going to need to be. And then we'll cut our hole uh, with this off. And then set it all on there. I think that's going to be our best bet. So let me, uh, I'll show you how these come off. Just pop this, uh, it's got these little clips. Just pull this, the center part out and then the whole clip will pull out. And that's how this thing attaches all the way around. So I'm going to go take a screwdriver and uh, pop these out. There's a little uh, notch right there where you can get a screwdriver in there. I'm, I think they make an actual tool that catches both sides, but I don't have it, so I use a screwdriver. Works well. So I'm going to get these off, and uh, then we can uh, start mounting the hitch itself. Like I said, it looks like my bumper has been up. Uh, this thing has been had a looks like it had a front like it bumped into something at some point so uh, you can't really tell by looking at the bumper from the outside so yeah looks like it's been in about right there a little bit but I don't think that'll affect the way the hitch fits I don't think it's pushed in too much all right so we've got it all I forgot to show you all these clips here here's what they look like so you pop this center up. What it does, it fits into a part right here. And then this shoulder locks it in right here. And this insert pushes this out. See how it does? So when you pull this out, that allows this to go in. See. Now, some of them, once you pull that out, you can get a screwdriver under here and you can pop them out. Some of them are stuck. And so you've got to squeeze this shut and then get a screwdriver under and pop them out. And then some of them, the way this thing is made, uh, it feels like it's um, narrower on one side. Some of them still won't come out, so you got to rotate this around and squeeze it, and then they pop out. So that's how they come out. You can see all the way around. And so it's out now. We got room to work. Let's uh, get our brackets. What we're going to do is we'll start the brackets. Uh, we've got some spacers that go in here. 
we're gonna get these brackets started. We'll leave them loose until we get the, the hitch bolted up as well. So they give you a tool. Might as well. So here are your frame bolts. There. Four frame bolts. And then you've got your pads. What these do is they spread the load plus they lock it. So you don't have to hold a nut or a wrench on the back side of it. So these are made to where they give you this tool. Let me set you up in the tripod. All right, they give you a tool. The purpose of this tool is you're gonna take this You thread the bolt on here, just like this. See how that is? And then you're gonna take this wire and you're gonna feed it through the open end of the frame and you're gonna get it to go through the hole where the, um, the bolt hole in the frame. So through the open end of the frame to the bolt hole. Once you get it, you're gonna pull this through and it pulls the bolt into position. And let me get my small tripod and I'll see if I can set y'all up and y'all can watch me do it. All right. Hopefully y'all can see. So we're gonna take this We're going to come through the open end of the frame and see, look, we're coming through this hole. Boom. That one's in position. You can just unthread it from here. And we'll put it to the side. This one here, we could probably do without it. Yeah. Same over here. These are a little tool here. And these are handy to save. If you ever get like a used hitch or you gotta take a hitch off for something for some reason or whatever. These uh are handy to have. Get this one through. To me though, those pads should be a little bit bigger for the back, but I guess that works. Now this one, I think, let's look at our instructions, yep, we go just like this. So we might as well grab two of our nuts, and we will start these. You know what, more y'all the position that way. We'll start these first because that other one's going to block y'all few. I guess y'all can see this. See, we're just going to run these up hand tight because we need to position the hitch. We want it, 
up against the frame, but you know, we can still move it around. I do the same thing right here. And if you slide that over, it pinches the bolt. And we can get it tightened up. Same thing here. Bolt pinch. Yeah, I wish that uh, back washer was bigger but that's what it comes with, so that's what we're using. Now, let's get some bolts ready. We need three over here, three over here, and washer, and uh, not washer, but nuts. Nuts. Now, like I said, we are doing our hitch this way, which is kind of upside down. Um, but I don't want it, if you do it the other way, it, it sits really low. I guess y'all can see. I'm going to position y'all down just a little bit. There we go. Um, if you do it the other way, it puts the hitch really low, and I think it's just a little bit too low. I'm afraid it hits stuff. Looks like we might have to raise our license plate up a little bit, which is fine. And what our third bolt? Oh. Tilt it down a little bit and clear the license plate. We'll see. clear the license plate. That's fine. I will uh, I might re-drill holes in the bumper for the license plate and move it up. These are square holes for these uh, deals here. I don't think we can pop these out. Yeah, they're square. But 
you know what I might could do? I could run self tappers. Still, uh, needs to be higher. We'll figure it out. So, uh, yeah, let me, uh, we're gonna go through, I'll turn the camera off. I'm gonna go through, I'm sure it has torque specs on these. Let's see, um, uh, 110 foot pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna tighten the, these hitch bolts first to make sure that it pulls up flush, and then we'll tighten the frame bolts. And like I said, 110 foot-pounds. So let me get that, and then we'll we'll make sure this thing is centered once we, uh, you know, because there's some slop back and forth. So I'll get a tape measure, we'll center it up, and uh, get it all correct. 